All right, so to interact with someone, you press the Windows key, and you should see interaction all over the place uh, starting to pop up. Uh, you can check their weapon temperature, you can check every part of their body for wounds, and you can bandage them or inject morphine, epinephrine if you're a medic. Uh, also, in the middle of their body over here, you will see the uh, pass magazine option, where you can pass a primary magazine, uh, also secondary magazine if you have a secondary weapon. Uh, you can also tap their shoulder, like this, and uh, you can also check out their head to diagnose. This is going to be covered in the medical section of the video. So to interact with yourself, you press the Windows key, like you used to uh, open the Ace interaction menu, but this time you press Control at the same time, which will open interaction that you can do on yourself, uh, for example in medical, where you can uh, bandage or inject morphine on yourself. Uh, you can also uh, do gestures, like for example I can go and uh, do the up gesture, didn't see half of it, but anyway. Uh, in the equipment you can see a check temperature, to check the weapon, uh, your weapon temperature, and you can also go in team management where you can change team. For example if I want to go red, now as you can see down here I am red. If I want to change team again and uh, go yellow, I can go yellow. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Alright, so as you can see we've lost a wheel on our e H E M T T, whatever it's called. And we go into interaction and cargo. And you should see a spare wheel or two. You unload that. It takes a bit of time of course. But once it's unloaded, uh, we should find it around here somewhere. Um, maybe at the back, on the other side, no, wait, where the fuck is it? Okay, it's right there. Okay, so you take the wheel, and then you interact with it, you say, carry. And then you release it over here. And then you do change wheel. And it's going to replace the wheel. It takes a bit of time, of course. And there you go, your wheel has been replaced. So to plant explosives, you go in the self interaction menu, go in explosives, place, and then select the explosive you want to place. We're going to place a demolition block for this example. Unselect the self interaction menu, and then you're going to have to place the explosive anywhere you want. So let's place it over here, right next to this little house. But now you have to uh, interact with the explosive using the ACE interaction menu and select a trigger. You need a trigger, you can put a timer or a firing device. For now we're going to use the firing device we have acquired lay earlier on. And there we go. Now we have uh, the explosive armed and ready. Now we can go in explosives, firing device, and select the explosive one to blow up. We're going to get a far distance away before doing that though. And we will also get to cover to make sure we don't get killed instantly by the fragmentation. Alright, and we're blowing up in three, two, one. And that's how you do it. See? No mouse anymore.